G'day guys, welcome back. I am trying something new today. Um, in my quest of perfecting the ring pour, I have finally decided that using global paints and flow troll, global and flow troll, you cannot do a traditional ring pour. It's just not possible. You get too many cells. Look at that. Too many cells. No silicone at all. And I know over in America, um, Artist Loft paint does that. Um, and so apparently the Global Paint does that as well. So I am going to channel my Gina DeLuca today. Hi Gina, love your videos. And I'm going to try one of her paws and try and get these unusual cells that she gets um, with just paint and Floetrol and no silicone. So I'm going to try that. And this is just a canvas that I've, I scraped a while back um, and I'll just pour on that. So, I don't know how many jugs I'm going to need. I'm just going to use up all this paint. Right, so I'm going to start, and I'm not going to layer, I'm just going to pour the paint in. And I found that that is what is creating these cells. Pouring the paint in on top of each other. So that's navy. And then from high, some copper, metallic copper. Pour that in. A bit more. Aqua, that's global turquoise with white. Pour that in. Looks as if I'll be able to do two cups I had like one and a half of each colour cup. I've used a little bit on my practice over there on my piece of cardboard, recycled compressed cardboard, 30 centimetres by 40 centimetres. It's a good size to practice on and you can just put it on these cake cooling trays to drip off. Works great. And some white from my pie. Pour it all in. Who knows what we're going to get. Wait and see. It's already reacting. You can see cells appearing on the top. And that's the flow troll and the global paint that's doing that. So I have one more cup of everything to make another cup full. Well, actually, two cups full. This is um, 500 mils, two cups. Start again, same thing, maybe. Copper. The copper I've made thicker. These other colours have been mixed two parts flow troll to one part paint. The copper I've mixed one part paint to one part flow troll. Timer going off. Okay. Aqua and white. It's a bit full that one. Wasn't very clever, was it? Let's move that out of the way. We'll start with this one, seems it's actually no, I won't, because I might not even need all that. I'll start with this one. Round and round. That's going to start as a ring pour. Let's see what happens. It's 
I go from quite high to get the pressure of the paint mixing together. And we'll see what happens. With the other cup, I'm just going to come in over the top in the same position. Pour it into the middle again. Here we go. Big heavy one. Round and round. Really have no idea what this is going to do. I had all this paint mixed, I was going to do a lovely big ring pour. And I did, did one and didn't like it, scraped it, did another one. Wasn't terribly happy with it but I kept it. And I came to the conclusion that I just can't do it with Global. My big metallic one that I did, you may remember that one. Um, I didn't use global paints with that one. I used mainly uh, metallic sergeant paints. And got a really good result with that one. So if I'm going to do another ring pour, I'd like to do one in blues. I'm going to have to use a different brand of paint. And I've got a little bit of paint left over. A little bit of blue and a little bit of or a little bit of aqua and a little bit of white. And I'll just cover the corners a bit. Because it's always the corners that miss out. Round four. A square canvas. Never get your corners. back and touch all that up later on. Alright, touch it up later when I've got more time. Got a little bit of white left just in case I need some more to cover my edges. So with this technique, the more you move this paint and the more it rubs against each other, gets into each other, the more cells you're going to get. So, um, I did just mark this then I know where canvas was, if I pick it up, I'll know where to put it back down again. Over the corner, back to the middle, over to the other corner, I don't know if you can see this or not at this stage, over to that far corner, 
over there. Back again. just to turn that around at this stage, I think. I've got my big push pins underneath to keep it up off the bench. Okay, over to the last corner. Moving the weight of the paint back to the middle. Still got a lot of paint on here. And I might leave it get this this off center I don't like it in the center if you're going to have a focal piece you're better off having it off center I think otherwise it has to be right in the center okay I quite like that one no silicone at all in that blow torch just to get any bubbles out. Try not to set it on fire. We're going too fast. If I go slower I won't get flames. Do the sides as well. keep changing over the next five or ten minutes I would think we should get more cells popping up but you can still see rings and these lines here looks like stone which is really pretty and then you've still got your circular circle in the center there which is nice Okay. I'm quite happy with that. A little bit different to what I had previously, probably because I had more paint on here. Probably should have had less paint and then tilted more, stretched more, probably would have worked better. But not bad for a first try, I think. And, um, might do another one of those at a later stage. Really liking this dark bit in the middle with the copper and then the blues around. Yeah, very nice. Okay, hopefully you enjoyed that video and um, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.